Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well and in today's video we are going to be transforming some scrap spare buttons into beautiful little miniature antique plates just like these ones. I'm going to be showing you a variety of different techniques on how to do this so stick around if you want to learn more. So in my last video you may have seen me make some little miniature clay delved in sapphire plates from by hand and the patterns are really cute but I couldn't get that accurate look that I wanted so I'm going to be using transfers instead. So I've been working lately on creating and compiling some antique and vintage plates and making them into printable downloads so you can make your own little plates just like I will do in this video. I have got vintage inspired ones, um, blue and whites and also red and whites with a whole variety of patterns and you'll see a few of these in the video as well. So yeah, I'm going to be using these to make my miniature plates look a lot more realistic. If you wanna get straight to the button technique, skip to this timestamp, otherwise I'm going to be showing a few more techniques on how you can use these transfers first. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is cut out your desired plate that you want to make um, after printing them out and just trim around to make sure you have a perfect little circle. I'm going to be using a few designs from each pack so you'll see me cut uh, probably a few different ones throughout this video so you'll be able to see a few more of them. This one's such a cute one, it's one of my favourites. It's a pink uh, plate with a duck design on it which is really sweet and I have a lot of these kinds of plates and um, Asian inspired plates as well. So onto the first technique. The first technique to use these transfers is to directly glue them onto your own DIY clay plates. Now if you want to know how to make these I will link the video of how I did mine um, down below in the comments or in the description. Basically just roll out clay, stamp a flat object, flat round object and trim the excess, sand, paint and you have your clay plates and uh, you can then just trim around your transfer, make little slits all around the circle and glue them on and finish with a clear nail polish top coat which will give that shiny look. If you don't want to make your own uh, plates you can also just do the same technique but transfer them onto pre-made dollhouse plates. You can buy these in loads of places in many different sizes. So that's another way you could also use these transfers. Yet another technique is to just use paper and make plates out of that. So you would print out layer between foil and another piece of paper and um, cut around that and you can actually make your own moulds to create an impression for your paper plate or you can also buy moulds. There's this really good video on YouTube, you've probably seen it already if you're into miniatures, um, where they make a cardboard mould and an impression to sort of stamp the uh, three-dimensional feel of a plate into it. Um, as you can see they layer foil that creates that molding effect. You can also just buy the mold, they sell them on Etsy. Um, yeah, that's another way you can use these transfers. Um, I also experimented with this technique but without a mold to see what kind of result I could get. I just cut them out, glued them onto card to create a thicker um, plate and then tape, taped sticky tape all over the top of them to create that shiny glazed look. Then I cut them out and just made an impression with my fingernail and kind of pressed up the rim of the plate just to give a little three-dimensional look and this worked out pretty well. Um, I didn't want to make the whole mold for this video, I just didn't really have time. So yeah, you can get a pretty good result for this uh, if you're putting something in the back corner of a room or somewhere it's not going to be seen too closely, you can get a very realistic effect and no one's going to know that it's not made out of clay. So this is a good one to do if you're strapped for time. 
And onto the final technique. I love making um, miniatures out of unconventional things and scraps and rubbish and things like that. And I thought buttons were the perfect plate because they just look like little mini plates. So let's try and see what we can make. The first thing you want to do is going to get your print out and get yourself some scrap buttons and try and find some buttons that match the size of the plates pretty well. Um, you can also use tiny buttons for this. Um, I've also included some side plates in 1 12th scale on the printouts. So we're going to try with some small buttons as well. Now, of course, these buttons are not white, so they're going to have to be made white. If you already have some white buttons, you are in a good position. So you can shortcut this by just getting white buttons if you would like that. Um, but if you haven't, you're going to have to sand them, paint them, um, and just get them to that white, clean plate finish. So I'm just sanding roughly. Um, if you're lucky, some buttons will, the paint will just sand off and create a white plastic underneath, which is pretty good. So yeah, just depends what you get. So I'm just sanding them. And of course we have holes, which are going to have to be filled. You can either fill them with a filler and then sand down, or um, I learnt in my later on that they can be filled up with the paint that I use. So we're only going to need to do the backs and the sides, so just sand away and uh, just get a rough finish. So now we have a rough finish that will take paint a lot more easier. I'm just going to be using acrylic paint, um, which will take quite a few coats. You could also spray paint if you have some white spray paint hanging around. Um, but I actually ended up using a lot more better paint, which was nail polish. Um, a gel nail polish works much better for this as it's quick to cure and um, has a lot more thicker uh, finish and is also self leveling. So I tried a bit with the acrylic as you can see here, but it just took too long. So I started with the gel nail polish and as you can see, it's just so much thicker. It only takes two coats. It's self leveling and it cures instantly under UV light. And because it's so thick, it actually fills up the holes. And after two coats, you'll get a smooth, seamless finish and the holes have disappeared. So we haven't got buttons anymore. We have little plates. And to just seal it, to give that nice ceramic feel, um, just seal with a top coat and you will have a really hardened plastic white plate um, ready to go for the transfers. So now we have something that resembles a plate and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good for some scrap buttons. So next stage is to apply the transfers. Um, I've just cut out a few examples here, um, we'll see which ones I choose. So I'm just going to line them up and the technique for applying these because there is a divot in the button is to just make little slits all around the perimeter of the transfer and um, this will just help it go in without crunching up around the sides. Um, I would also recommend trying not to rub too much on the paper and use like a little cloth or something just so you don't rub off any excess ink. Um, so yeah, I would use PVA glue. I tried with hot glue on this and it didn't really work. So a little bit of PVA glue just on the back of the button and just press it into place. So with our transfers applied, it's time to apply the top coats so they now will look glazed and shiny just like real plates and of course I'm using a top coat you could probably use a regular clear nail polish it'll just take longer to dry um, and I'm just gonna be placing it on the top I would recommend to use as thick uh, on the brush as you can just to avoid minimal pulling of the ink um, and less strokes on the top of the transfer as possible so we don't get any ink running and there you go it's so shiny and uh, really cute and I just cured it with a UV light and then they turn all hard and uh, plasticky um, they obviously are a little bit thicker than regular plates but are pretty cute for just some spare buttons and the little plates turn out really cute too I love the little ones so yeah, that's how I turned buttons into plates. 
And as you can see from my last attempt at a blue willow plate by hand, this um, transfer is, is gonna obviously be a lot more accurate. Although they are really cute doing them by hand, um, I do prefer these ones as they're more accurate. So it's great if you want that type of look in your dollhouse. So yeah, if you want to check out any of the transfers that I offer in my shop, I have blue and white china, red and white china, and a vintage plate pack as well. Um, yeah, so all these can be, I can definitely see these working in dresses, on tables, in little cupboards stacked up somewhere. These could look so cute for like little tea party miniatures, I feel like. So yeah, if you're interested in those, just visit my Etsy shop, it'll be linked down below. And uh, I hope this video inspired you and made you think a little bit more about how to make miniature plates in different ways. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.